I'm Tyler with Performance Diesel, and uh, today we're going to put an Ada Turbo kit on this Peterbilt CM2250. Alright, the first step we're just going to remove this charge pipe. So we're going to take the band clamp off of the, the charge elbow and then pull the pipe out of the boot. Now we'll get rid of the intake tube and get it out of the way. And we have a brand new setup, so this one we're not putting back on. So the next step is we're going to get rid of the, the sensor, and it does go back in the new pipe. So this makes sure we don't have any thread problems. Next step is we're going to take the bolts out of the doser valve but we don't undo any of the connections. We just kind of unbolt it and leave it out. Uh, we're gonna take the clamp off of this uh, stock elbow and we will reuse this clamp on our pipe. So when we get the, the clamps off, the whole exhaust will come out. We got a brand new down pipe, flex tube, and a bottom piece that goes in. So we're gonna take take the whole exhaust off including the cast piece. We do need to save the clamp that goes to the turbo. But we'll get rid of all the other exhaust. The, the gasket we need to save, it will go back in the new stuff. Alright, this is the, the top bracket for the Add a Turbo kit. We'll just put it on loose with two bolts and we'll wait till we get our intermediate pipe to slide into place. And this is our intermediate pipe that goes back on the stock turbo. Make sure we get the gasket in and make sure the gasket's good. And once you get the gasket in and line the, t the, the flange up, we just slide the intermediate pipe up under the bracket. We want to align the doser valve. It does need to be turned a little bit, but make sure the bolts are started with not being cross-thread. And then uh, the knock sensor will go in right after. My personal opinion, I like to take it apart in pieces so I don't have to handle the whole turbo. So I take the exhaust housing off first, be really careful of the blades. We don't want to damage anything. And then uh, once you have that bolted in place, all right, next step, it's a lot easier to bolt this oil drain on while the turbo's out. So let's do that now and just make sure the O-ring's in and just snug it up tight. Right now I still like to take the cartridge out of the compressor housing so I don't have to deal with the, the compressor housing while I'm trying to line this drain tube. Right here when we're sliding into the exhaust housing, just make sure we stayed center and we don't hit those blades on anything. Right now we get it inside where we can just tighten the clamp loosely so we can still spin the cartridge. All right, now we're gonna put the compressor housing on, making sure that we don't damage the blades. Same with this one, we're just gonna put it on loose so that we can still rotate it. So when we get our charge pipes, we can align them. All right, now we're gonna put our down pipe on and they all have to have gaskets. So make sure we got the gaskets. I'll just set the gasket on the, the exhaust housing. And this is a five inch pipe, so it is bigger than factory, but it still clears really good. We get this flex pipe, we just got to make sure the gasket's on the down pipe and we get the clamp sealed all the way around the edge. Put it in a place that it's easy to tighten. This is the last pipe on the exhaust. We just got to make sure we get the gaskets in. When we put them together, I like to put the bottom in and then pull the flex pipe down to the, the other flange. Yeah, this is the new flange for the oil drain and it is a, an O-ring seal, so we need to make sure this is to the outside where the O-ring sits. And then uh, it's a JIC on the other end, just twist it in by hand and then you can finish tightening once the tube's on. This is our drain tube and it has a 45 at one end and that goes to the top. So you kind of have to form it around going behind the doser valve down to the, the new block. Next step is, is we'll do the intake. So we'll start by taking the temp sensor out. And when we put a plug in it from our oil feed out of the oil filter housing is where we'll get our feed line. So the plug actually fits in there. 
This line will actually go back into our new intake. We'll screw that sensor into it. So that plug fits right in this compressor housing. We have our plug, or not our plug, but our adapter for our feed line. It goes in the oil filter housing. This is our oil feed flange. We try to route this on the cold side of the turbo and we'll tie it over later. Now we're going to put our top charge pipe on, which is V-banded with an O-ring. So make sure you get the O-ring in there. And same as all the others, we just get it snug so we can rotate it. Now we put our flexible bellow in here and there is a flow to it. So if you look inside where it's smooth over here, it's open on this side. So we got to make sure that the flow is going down. It actually tells you on here with an arrow which way it's going. We put these bellows in here for vibration so we don't break pipes. So we'll put our rubber boot on the compressor housing. Then we'll take our bottom pipe and slide it in the, the rubber boot and into the bellow and lines them right up. Once we get the clamps on and just snug, we want to make sure our pipes are in line so our bellow is not kinked. So we want it as straight as possible and then we can start tightening our clamps all the way. So now we're going to put our intake on. The factory nose is down just a little bit, so we're going to loosen these clamps so we can tip the pipe up so it's level with the new pipe. This is a new hump hose that comes with the kit that's six to six, so we have to put that on because we've gone from a five and a half inch intake to a six on the turbo side. This is our 90 degree elbow that goes on the compressor. It's easier if you put the clamp on first so you don't have to try to force it over the lip of the housing. And then once you get it on, slide the clamp up onto the boot. Then you can slide it on the rest of the way. And there's just barely clearance in there, but there is clearance. This is our new six inch 90. It's got our uh, sensor bung welded in it. We'll put it in later. So this sensor we pulled out earlier will go in our new six inch pipe right here next to the compressor housing. Then we just run our line straight up past the, the 90 and clips it right in. All right, now the final piece would be our stock intake tube, our charge pipe, excuse me. All right, we want to make sure our feed line is tied over to the compressor side of the VGT to keep the heat away from the, the hot side. So this wraps up our uh, add a turbo installation. Just make sure you go over all of your V bands on the charger. Make sure everything's got clearance. Make sure our lines are out of the way. So for uh, any questions or you want to learn more, uh, you can visit us at pdidiesel.com or feel free to call us.